Compound clip. A compound clip is a selection of clips combined into one. Create a compound clip by selecting a group of clips. Right click and select new compound clip. Type in a name. Click OK to create the clip. You'll notice that the previously selected clips have been replaced by a single clip. This icon indicates a compound clip. At any time, right click on a clip to rename it. The name is important. It identifies this clip, making it easy to locate in the timeline index or with a search. A compound clip behaves just like other clips. Click and drag to move it around, apply effects, transitions, and edit as you would other clips. Edit the contents of a compound clip by double clicking it. While inside, the name of the compound clip is listed at the top of the timeline. Click the Timeline History Back button to return to the project. Click the Go Forward button to navigate back inside the compound clip and make any desired changes. Let's see compound clips in action with a few examples. Simplify the timeline. This project includes an intro, an interview on the primary storyline, and connected B-roll clips. Click and drag across a group of clips to select them. Use the keyboard shortcut Option G to combine the clips into a new compound clip. Repeat the steps for the additional B-roll segments. While learning, it can help to include the words compound clip in the name. We can also group the interview into its own compound clip. Our timeline is simplified down from over 20 clips to just five. To make a change, like adding an additional B-roll clip, double click on the compound clip to open it. Add the clip. The diagonal lines let us know this clip is outside the boundaries of the compound clip. That's okay. Click back to exit the compound clip, then drag the end to extend it. If you create a compound clip, but don't need it anymore, select it, open the clip menu, and click Break Apart Clip Items. This project is actually the first episode in a series. Each episode will have the same opening. By grouping the clips at the beginning into a compound clip, we have a reusable intro to add to the other episodes. Press Command N to create a new project for the second episode. Locate the intro compound clip and add it to the project. It's important to note that this intro compound clip is the same in both projects. Any changes made inside the clip are reflected anywhere that clip is used. If a producer or client asks for a new clip in the intro, simply double click into the compound clip. Make the change and that change is reflected in every episode. Use compound clips to work smarter by grouping clips, then apply effects, transform, and other edits to that compound clip. All of the edits made to the clip impact the entire group. The row of videos in the intro was created by applying multiple effects and transforms to each clip. With the first row completed, select the clips, Option G to group them into a compound clip, and name it row one. To create the second row, you could start from scratch, but instead hold option and drag the row one compound clip up to duplicate it. Right click on the clip to rename it row two. Did you see what happened? Both compound clips are renamed row two because they both have the same parent clip. Any changes made to one impacts all the others with the same parent. Press Command Z to undo that last step. Before renaming the clip, select it, go to the clip menu, and click Reference New Parent Clip. Rename the clip row two, and notice now we have row one, and row two. With row two selected, 
use the transform tool to adjust its position. Hold shift while dragging to lock the adjustment to the axis. Replace the clips with new ones. Double click to open the row two compound clip. Select and copy the first clip we're going to replace. By copying the clip, the effects applied to that clip are also copied. Drag the new clip onto the old one. Select Replace. With the new clip selected, use Option Command V to paste effects. Repeat the steps for the next clip. Select the one on the timeline, press Command C to copy it, then drag the new clip in and replace the old. Use Option Command V to paste effects. Select, copy, replace, paste effects. Once all the clips are replaced, use command left bracket to return to the project. Option drag, reference a new parent clip and rename it. Transform, double click to open, then select, copy, replace, and paste effects. These steps may seem a little annoying at first, but after a few reps, I have found they save an enormous amount of time and energy. Locate all of the new compound clips in the browser. Click search, then this button to show the filter HUD. Click the plus, select type, is compound. Uncheck text, and save this search by creating a new smart collection. Having an abundance of compound clips can clutter a library. Select one and use Command Delete to move it to the trash. Don't worry, if it is in use, this alert appears. Got a question? Leave it in the comments or contact us at anawesomeguide.com support.